Okay, good afternoon and welcome everyone to the Virtual Head Student Leadership Showcase. My name is Ibelkis Montalvo, Head Executive Director, and I will be your host during this virtual event called Student Leadership Showcase. Thank you for accepting our invitation to the uh, to this event, English edition, titled Social Emotional uh, uh, with the topic, excuse me, social emo emotional intelligence with our special speaker, Dr. Barbara Flores from Bronze Community College uh, uh, yeah, as part of the CUNY system in New York. During the event, Dr. Flores will share social emotional intelligence strategies and their application to daily life, communication processes, and leadership. Finally, learn how to develop yourself to be an emotionally intelligent leader. Col uh, thank you, Barbara, again, for your valuable collaboration with this initiative that aims to provide special support to member institutions as part of HEAD's mission to enhance Hispanic Latino student success, but uh, student success, uh, retention and success in higher education. Before we start the event, we would like to emphasize the following. In the next slide, you will see that uh, please use the chat to share your questions or, um, or your comments. Keep your microphone on mute to avoid interruptions, please. Access the link in the chat to request the certificate of participation or scan the QR code that you will see in the next slide to request the certificate. Remember that it's very important that you put your name uh, and the email, make sure it's correct so you can receive uh, the participate, uh, the certificate of participation in the next following weeks. At the end of this webinar, you will receive a, also an email with the link to complete a short survey to help us evaluate this webinar and help us identify which head services and initiatives can support, support students and also your feedback to promote on how to promote these services. Remember that the survey is anonymous and the estimate time to complete it is around five minutes. So we will really appreciate your time to complete this survey uh, since your feedback for us is uh, very important. Today, we are happy to say that we have more than 100 students, eh, well, no, participants registered because we not only have students, we also have faculty and administrators. Eh, from eh, in the next slide, you will see the names of the 16 higher education institutions in Puerto Rico that, that uh, participants uh, identify as uh, are, are part of it, and also four higher ed education institutions in the U.S and one international institution, which is our member uh, institution in Colombia, Universidad Cooperativa de Colombia. Welcome all, you are the real protagonist of this event and all we have planned has been thinking about you. Thank you all for your participation. We also would like to thank all deans and by presidents of student affairs, counselors, directors and staff of the institutions, of our member institutions for their valuable collaboration to make this event possible, including our corporate partners that you may see the names of our corporate partners in the next slide, including Anthology, U Planner, Campus Care, Inquimati, Puerto Rico Top Level Domain, Educational Testing Services, and COVID-19. Now we invite you to access and help us promote the Peterson test spread where you can find scholarships from undergraduate and also graduate studies, also practice tests and download the ebooks to prepare for those tests, such as PCAT, LSAT, GRE, NCAT, and others. And uh, remember that uh, just need to follow four very uh, easy steps that you will see in the next slide. And if you don't have the password to enter the database, please send us an email to info ahead.org. Likewise, you can access to the Peterson Career Press 
where you can search for jobs, add internship, create your resume, very neat uh, resources to create your resume with examples. So if you don't have, you don't know how to do a resume, you will have a lot of examples as well. And a very interesting, um, comprehensive career advice with tutorials and different information about careers among other services. Again, again, if you don't have, you just need to fa follow the same four steps. And if you don't know uh, the, uh, the password of your institution, and if you don't find the name of your institution on the list, please send us an email and we'll be make sure uh, Bella, to give you uh, access to these databases. Finally, we invite you to spread the word Help us uh, invite others to our next event. The next one is going to be, well, we have the best practices showcase. No, this one, the best practices showcase. Uh, Stephanie, could you? Uh -huh. uh, it's going to be in February 2nd and 3rd, but we want to highlight that those of you that have projects with innovative, uh, well, uh, innovative projects using technology, or projects uh, regarding access, retention, and online learning, you have uh, until December 6th this week, uh, Bella, excuse me, next week, to submit it totally online. Uh, please let send us an email if you have any problem. And this time, this uh, best practices showcase will be in a hybrid modality. And for the first time, as part of the 30th anniversary that we are celebrating this academic year, we will be showcasing 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 also a track for students where students can uh, showcase their innovative uh, projects. So now, now the next, uh, please, the next slide, our next webinar and the last one of this uh, semester is going to be on uh, December 9th, next Friday at 10 a.m. Puerto Rico time, and it's going to be in Spanish. And the title is Negociar Sin Ceder, Método Harvard. Uh, and we invite you to register if you haven't uh, done it yet and uh, participate of this uh, last webinar. And uh, the next, uh, also we invite you to read that we already published our full issue of the Heads Online Journal in the next, uh, in the next uh, uh, slide. Uh, and this time, these have nine very interesting articles uh, so with topics such as online learning, retention, assessment. And for the first time, we are able to publish on this and our new open access editorial access platform. Uh, we have other uh, opportunity, not only that the ones who went to our website were able to read our articles, but also the all the people the Bella the persons interested in these articles can find us in this open access editorial platform. So uh, remember that just need to register in our events and help us again to spread the word and follow us in our social media accounts to take take advantage of these events and services. Remember we have. Uh, you can find us at Heads ORG without the dot, Heads ORG in Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and everything we do, like this webinar, is, uh, is recorded. So you can also, in our YouTube channel, find all the recordings of our events. Now we formally start our Student Leadership Showcase English Edition. The main purpose of this event is to promote the wide variety of services available free of charge to support your academic goals, especially for students, and increase uh, your chances of success. Also, to share presentations of expert resources in leadership as the speaker invited for today. Now we are pleased to introduce Dr. Barbara Flores, uh, but first let me share some information about Barbara. Barbara uh, Flores Caballero is her full name, is a Puerto Rican specialist in educational leadership and emotional intelligence and an author 
eh, eh, Anna, Anna, oh, sorry, excuse me. First, first, her first book was El liderazgo escolar y la inteligencia emocional ante la crisis social. Her, her second book is called Edu, Edu Leader Emotional, which over an, oh, Barbara has over 18 years of experience in the education field. She is a contributor to Acceso Total, Telemundo 47, the ones who are uh, in New York, Dr. Flores Caballero, founded and hosts the Transforming Knowledge Podcast and the EduLeader Emotional Program on the Barbara Flores YouTube channel. So I invite you to follow her. She won the Latin Podcast Award 2020 in the education category as an assistant professor at Bronx Community College, CUNY, in, the New, York, in, in New York, and she published uh, the article Factors and Strategies for Student Retention in the Head Online Journal about higher education uh, 2020 and published Developing Development of Emotional Intelligence and Innovative Strategies for Administrative administrator's responsibility as a leader in the school environment in the book of, Arbit of arbitrary minutes of the Vigo International Forum of University Innovation in Spain 2018. Uh, Barbara, now this is just a brief summary of your extensive and comprehensive uh, experience. We invite you to please, uh, uh, Stephanie, if you can stop sharing so Barbara can share uh, her presentation. It will be, uh, you will have, as we mentioned, between 40 to 45 minutes to uh, share your presentation. And uh, please, uh, the, the, the more than 80, 80 uh, participants that are here, please keep your microphone mute, but any questions, any doubts, you can put it, uh, I will be checking the chat so we can, uh, 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 if you have any question regarding any topic, uh, we will definitely will be sharing the uh, your doubts or comments or questions with Barbara. And also Barbara wants you to participate, so she will let you know when, uh, and we, uh, and you can do it through the chat as well. So Barbara, go ahead and welcome again and thank you for assisting our invitation to be today with us. Well, thank you very much for having me here. For me, it's a pleasure. Buenas tardes, mis puertorriqueños queridos. De verdad que un honor estar aquí. Then, I start the topic social emotional intelligence. First of all, I want everybody, please, you need to put in the chat, what emoji could you use to describe how you feel today? Right now, right now, what do you feel? Example, whatever, put over there. Or Barbara, I don't have the emoji, it's no problem. Put, I feel happy, I feel sexy, I feel whatever you feel today, but put over there. Today is Friday, happy Friday. Put it over there, let me see. Somebody answer, oh, wow, love it. Oh, somebody is sleepy. Others are happy. Love it, love it. Wow, amazing. Oh, you have sun here in New Jersey and New York. Oh my gosh, it's really cold. This morning is at 20 degrees. Really, 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 really cold. Okay, guys. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. Then, let me press here. What I cover here today, this is my objective. This is general, okay? Learning strategies about what? About social, emotional. But you need to have to apply effective communication. It's part of emotional intelligence and social emotional intelligence, okay? You need to recognize. Recognize what? Recognize you. But at the same time, you need to recognize now in what? Others. Barbara, what is important? Because you want to connect with others. You, you know, you need to connect with others. Apply. Apply what? Only for my family? No, you need to apply what you learned today. And maybe you know a lot of stuff I explained here today. 
but maybe can reinforce something for you, okay? And then, and I give it to you tools to work that is factorially with social emotional intelligence and leadership, okay? In communication process. A specific, when I talk about a specific objective, I talk about, I need to take time for examine my communication style. Because sometimes you criticize a lot, the people, your family, your friends, but hmm, what is what, really, what is your communication style? Hmm, you maybe don't know, maybe you have one idea, but today you want to check with me what happened with your communication style. Recognize what type of communicator you are, okay? And how others feel when you carry in the message. Because maybe you said, oh, but really, I don't ignore you. Oh, I said that to take personal because I don't want to tell you this, okay? Today, you want to learn about that and learn to develop, to be an emotional, intelligent leader. That is super important because you are a leader in your home, in your work, with the society, in anywhere, okay? Take a pen, please, a pen and a book, pencil, whatever you want. But first, I want to share with you, I want to read, okay, a product. And pay attention, okay? I go slow because I want everybody to understand. Connect now with me, okay? Put away your cell phone, put the, the computer, no, but, oh, maybe you're in the cell phone, okay? But connecting with us. But no distract, no distraction, okay? Now it's you and me. Got it. Pay attention. Sir, my wife and I have a granddaughter named Zoe. A Greek word for life. She was born prematurely and weighed one pound, una libra, seven ounces, siete onzas. So small, bien pequeña, that my wedding ring could slide up her arm to her shoulder. A neonatologist who first examined her, remember Zoe, told us that she had a five percent, five to ten percent chance of living with AIDS. When Esther and I scrubbed off for our first visit and saw Zoe in her isolate in the neonatal intensive care unit, she had two two tubes in her navel, one in her foot, a monitor on each side of her chest, and a res respiratory tube, and a feeding tube in her mouth. To complicate matters para complicar esto más. Zoe's biological father, had jumped ship the month before so is what's formed. Realizing this, a wise and caring nurse named Ruth gave me my instructions. For the next several months, at least, you are the surrogate father. I want you to come to the hospital every day to visit who? Zoe. And when you come, I would like you to rub her body and her legs and arms with the tip of your fingers. While you're cursing her, you should tell her over and over, okay, how much you love her because she has be able to connect your voice to your touch. Ruth was doing exactly the right thing 
on Sui, on Soy's behalf. And of course, on my behalf as well. And without realizing this it, she was giving me one of the best possible descriptions of the work of a leader. At the core of becoming a leader is the need always to connect one's voice and one's touch. Max Dupri, Leadership Class, 1992, Prada. My history. Let me now talk about my history because it's important. You know, I'm educational leadership, emotional intelligence, specialist noun. Noun, but it, it was not always like this. I want to start by asking you guys, now you need to put in the chat, if it has happened to you, and you think you know everything and have to have all those skills. Oh, I have all those skills in the world. I know everything. I don't need to know nothing because I know everything in my job. I'm bored because I know everything, you know. That happened with you some, some time in your life, guys. Somebody can ask me on the sh in the chat, please. Somebody can ask me in the chat. You feel, ustedes sienten en algún momento de su vida que se lo saben todo, que se saben todas las destrezas en el trabajo, todas las destrezas en, en las escuelas, en las universidades, sí o no? Never, no. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Caroline. Sorry, I spell incorrect the name, okay? Dianelis, no. Valerias, no. Rosemary, no. Thank you. That is the correct attitude. Because let me tell you something, what happened with me. And I need to read my story. You, when I'm young, obviously, yes, fresh out of college, where when I finish my, my BA in PR, in Puerto Rico, cuando terminé mi bachillerato, I think, you know, okay, I start to working with great, great enthusiasm. Oh my gosh, as a high school teacher, math high school teacher. Until one day, I experienced an incident that changed my career path forever. And you don't believe me what now I let you know. In a group activity, I have my class, you know. I come this day with all my enthusiasm, really happy. Oh my gosh. Pensaba que me iba a comer los nenes crudos. In a group activity, and as soon as they indicate that they should join this group, a student, that student in particular, stood up with courage. <clears throat> Drawing his desk boom, on the floor. And with great anger, he began to yell at me. Between profanity, bad language, yeah, coarse language, in other words. And he has approached me aggressively, okay? My reaction was panic and looking into his eye. I scream him. Mm, says Carol. A student then grabbed me by my neck and pressed me against the black board. In that time it's black in Puerto Rico. Cuando la pizarra negra, la verde, de todos los colores. Thanks to another student who caught his attention, he react, and finally released me. Oof, and then can I do? This event was so tra traumatic for me that it led literally me 
to make the decision to leave the teaching, the magistrate. No, I don't want this. I don't want this profession. You know, mm -mm, this is not for me. It was then that I decided to pursue graduate studies in the field, and you don't believe in what field? Of human resources, business. Yes, yes, business school. Do oh, you believe it or no? And where I learned, guess what? Emotional intelligence. Then everything became to be filled. And I remember that young man, that, that young student, say, I think, how would that story have ended if I had had interpersonal skills today? 100% super deep because I don't have all my skills because in the university teach me a lot of theory but don't teach me the most important part emotional intelligence inside emotional intelligence is social competences that's me Today, I want guys, pause and reload. Exercise. I want to say this time for you guys. It's your time. Okay, it's only 45 minutes, one hour. I want think of a life, okay, experience. That's something did not suit you so well or not at all, what would you do different, okay? The instruction is in English. I translate in Spanish for the person in Spanish. And I want to give it to you five minutes, okay? Five minutes. And I want, I want, please, or better, I would like to have people in two years who can participate, raise your hand when you finish the exercise, okay? Raise your hands, put your microphone on, and then you can answer. The persons understand me in English, go ahead. Now I translate in Spanish. Lo que estamos aquí, lo que quiero es en español, ¿verdad? Más rapidito me van a entender. Me encantaría que pensaran en una experiencia de su vida. Que no les quedó tan bonita la cosa. O que les quedó malísima. Tú te sientas hoy día y tú dices, si yo hubiera hecho esto específicamente diferente, la historia hubiera sido otra. Voy a dar cinco minutos y me encantaría, me encantaría que tres voluntarios alcen su mano y puedan poner el micrófono on o poner sus contestaciones en el chat. Voy a estar en silencio por cinco minutos, comenzando ahora. I return, pero voy a estar aquí. 2 y 36. Guys, 2 36. I put my microphone again on, okay? Take your time to this exercise, okay? The advantage. Yeah, a question, Barbara, because someone is putting me uh, yeah. on the chat. Mm -hmm. You want them for not to put it on the chat, right? Just to write it down yes, and then three mm -hmm. three persons or two or three uh uh open mind. the mic and mm -hmm. and share so don't put your yeah uh, uh things on on the chat just yes, for you you right? know what because it's, it's, it's long it may be too much in the chat yes it's, it's a life experience the person has that you are right you are correct okay okay the ones who are entering now, uh, uh -huh. we already started the event and we are doing this exercise. This is the question for you and you will have four minutes now uh, to uh, brief, uh, uh, do this very uh, quickly. And if you're feeling to share it with the rest, then two or three will have the opportunity, raise your hand. You know how to raise your hand. 
and then uh, you can open the microphone. Okay, we are in silence, so you can think. Working, continúen trabajando, no hagan trampa. Estamos aquí. Two more minutes. Son minutos más y empezamos. Okay. I think a more minute, right? Right. Almost, almost there. Okay, got it. Somebody, please, would like to have three volunteers who can participate. Raise your hands. Come on. You can do it. Okay. Hi, I can share my experience. Sure, okay. love it. Your name. I'm Lillian, and I'm so sorry I cannot turn on my camera, but. I'll be glad to share my experience. Yes. Nice, nice. Thank you so much, Lillian. Come on. Well, um, I believe that every day we have an experience. We mm -hmm. make mistakes. And I think that according to what you ask me to do, I just reflect on my experience. Then I go over my pros and cons. Then I look for strategies to improve. Then I can learn from my failure and try to do my best the next time. That would be it. Nice, Lilian. I love it. That Thank you. I want everybody do, okay? You need to reflect, okay? Because for me, I don't know you. When I wake up, I said, God, I want to be a better person. What I did yesterday. Yes. Today, I want to touch one life, only one life in my, remember, my professor, no? Yes. I want to touch one life, and with that, I have everything. Come on, who else? Who else? Put that microphone on, come on. 
Lillian, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Nobody else? Thank you. Thank you. Lillian, you are from which institution? I work at Nuke University in Caguas Campus, Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. and I nice. teach English. Okay, nice. great. Thank nice, you. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank guys, you. then let me continue, yes? Be learning, you learn more. Mm. Activity, really quickly, really quickly. I'm here, really quickly. Write in at five words. Come to your mind. What is social emotional intelligence for you? Five words. This is an example, okay? This is no happiness, sad, whatever, whatever you want. Put there. Come on, raise your hand. And you will have the opportunity to turn on your microphone and participate or in the chat because it's really short. Give you one word. One word. Social emotional intelligence. Yes. Put in the chat. Come on. Put one word. What is social emotional intelligence in your own word? Okay. What is that? Empathy. Ooh. And this. Love it. Thank you. What else? Yes. Self consciousness. Uh huh. I love it. iPhone. I don't know the name. Sorry. Fabiola. Respect. Uh, Delianis. Responsibility. Gabriela. Maturity. Interesting, Gabriela. Love it. Who else? Come on, come on. Two more. Two more. Who's in the chat? Honestly. What else? What else? One more. One more. Come on. One more. Perfect. Plan, think, repeat, do, and improve. Oh, Lillian, got it. I love it. Improve. Take criticisms and turn it into opportunity. Nachalis, love it. Betabel, emotional responsibility. Ooh. Valerias. Innovation. Thank you, thank you a lot for participating. I love when my students participate, and today everybody here is my student. Yeah. Okay. What is social emotional intelligence? Mm, what is that? What is the capacity to recognize our own feelings and those of others, for motivating ourselves and for managing emotion effectively? In ourselves and in others. No, it's only me. And I said that I say this when I start the presentation. Okay. Please describe. Describe what, professor? Behaviors that sustain people in challenging roles. Because when I start the presentation, I said you are a leader where in your home, in your work, in the society, whatever. You are a leader. Or the careers become more demanding and it's captures the qualities that help people feel effectively with change in these times guys and let me know in the chat i'm correct or no a lot of people don't have tolerance don't have patience oh, don't have a lot of stuff and let me see here in on the chat. Put, okay, somebody put compassion. Oh, compassion, Richard. Nice. Okay. Then, you know what is emotional intelligence? Maybe you, you know, uh, before this, but now I put uh, a definition. When I talk about social emotional, I love it to mention the people. Remember, you have interpersonal skills. What is that, professor? It's really they work it's in two parts they in two parts intra with you you need to work with you inside what happened with you self awareness self conscious okay you need to motivate yourself and obviously professor but i need to motivate others be careful know it's the same motivation and inspiration why do people confuse that two words well because you you want to say something no, Barbara, I don't know if you are moving and putting something in between you and the microphone because sometimes uh, we can lose the... Stop it? The, 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 okay. Yeah, it's kind of... Okay. Uh, exacto, entrecortado. Okay, so me make her... sure that the microphone is okay. direct to your... Okay, great. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Whatever, do this for me, okay? And then I know. Okay. Thank you. Interpersonal, what's interpersonal? Interpersonal is when you, when you work with what? With others, 
okay? It's external of you. Now, in my computer, oh, then here, emotions. What is emotion? Mm, emotion is a, a physiological reactions. Really, Professor, yes, because when you feel one emotions, you, your, your hands maybe swear, yeah? What happened with your heart? Ooh, go really fast. You put red. You, you feel hot. Oh my gosh, I'm really hot. Estoy bien caliente. Yo quiero matar ese muchacho. Emotions are neither good nor bad. Okay? No, emotion is emotion. That's it. Okay? Don't tell. The emotions are bad. Really? Why? No, you need to feel it. Oh, but. Uh, what happened? Because when I when I feel some emotion, I feel bad. Okay, you, you feel bad. It's no problem with that. Okay, but the emotion is not bad because maybe you need to what to have to pass to that for learn manage that emotion. We are responsible. Thank you for that. The students write in the chat responsibility. Yes, strategies. You have amygdala. Yes, the amygdala. But I don't talk about this amygdala, okay? No estoy hablando de la amygdala que tenemos aquí en la garganta. I'm talking about the amygdala where? In our brain, yeah? That amygdala is responsible about uh, our emotions. What do you want to, to do with your life? Victims or protagonists? From which protagonists? I don't know you. Interpretations. Because you know what? Why do you interpret what others say in the way you want to interpret it? Because each people have different patients. And maybe you want, no, I want this person do this. Because you, why that person doing the other way? No. And then you say the stuff personal. That's mean when you say the say stuff personal. You need to work your, with your emotional intelligence, okay? Something happened. Professor, interpretations, where, where, where I learned that? <laughs> you learn in your parenting, but in the environment too, okay? That is important. Emotions. In which part of the body do you feel the emotions? Let me tell you, a lot of People, a lot of people tell me, oh, I feel the, the, the emotions. Mm, I feel the emotions in my heart, in my chest, in, in the part. You feel your emotion is in your brain. Professor, but you see it. Yeah, the definition is a physical what? Reaction. I let you know with time. Then, where are you? Feel, tell in that case, the emotion in the brain. Okay, and that part is important. Emotions, give me an example, Professor. A phrase, surprise, sadness, joy, joy. I don't know you, but this is important. Everybody has more than 503 emotions. Professor, set the correct number 543 emotions. Tenemos más de 543 emociones. How oh, is simply a fate, a category, fight in subcategories. It's not the same as what you feel when somebody uh, maybe come and you don't expect that person and you, oh my gosh, you feel afraid. Or maybe somebody come, you know, to whatever, say something, you know, your car or whatever. That part is important. Surprise, surprise have a lot of subcategories, okay? That part is really important. More important is never don't suppress your emotions. Professor, what can I do, please? Tell me strategies. I give it to you more strategies and listen carefully. No, they, they, they stay. Oh my gosh, this song, my daughter, oh my gosh, she put it a lot of time, repeat it and repeat it. Let it go, let it go. Déjalo ir. How can I do that? 
take time, but you need to what? Change the channel. Think in other stuff. Don't continue, you know, dealing with that person. Take your time and maybe come back again, okay? Professor, okay, but that is for others. But work, work with me. What can I do? Okay, again, let it go, let it go. But expressing what you feel, either by screaming in your car, Professor, but maybe somebody see me and tell, oh, that lady is crazy. I don't care. Sometimes you need to scream in, go to your car. <laughs> Screaming? Why not? That is acceptable. But don't scream in others, okay? Talking to, some, talking to someone, call whatever you know you want. Using the Socratic dialogue. And I know a lot of you guys know what is that. That is when you're talking to yourself. Cuando tú hablas contigo mismo, ese es el diálogo socrático. Te decimos, estamos locos. Yeah, a lot of people, yeah, maybe other people say, oh, that person is crazy. He's talking by, by herself or himself. Select the strategies that works for you. What I put here, no, is absolutely, okay? Listen, remember, we are not the same. Maybe, and I use more other strategies, but maybe you use other ones and work for you. Be emotionally intelligent. Change your mindset, your expectations. Because the problem is when you come with a pattern in your parenting, you continue what? Doing the same. And then you teach maybe your son, your daughter, you know, everybody's there. Maybe you, you know, need to change your mindset. And this is not say one day. There is no thought with emotion. Professor, what you said before come, the emotion have one thought in milliseconds, but that happened, okay? Habits, you need to mod modify the habits. Why? Because modify behaviors, but modify habits is more what? equal for, for us, yes, because you need to what? That's more work, yeah. It's hard, but you need to do it. And professor, explain me this. What comes first? Cognition, okay, your thought, comes your emotion, and your response. Effective strategies for managing healthy emotions. Take note. Operationalist your emotion. What is that, Professor? Put whatever name you want to Wow, really happy because today my professor tell me my final grade. And it's so wonderful. Number two, identify the emotion. Okay. I know the name in my own words, but I need to identify when this happened, the same event happened, or mm, really similar, the event, I react with the same emotion, mm, manage the emotion. What can I do? I said, yes, let it go. Take your time, put a movie, a, a read something, maybe call somebody, okay? what you do before and you feel uh, happy, okay? Self-evaluation. You need to self-evaluate you. I do that, yeah. What you can do? Put a find stuff in YouTube. Find a book about emotional intelligence, social emotional intelligence, manage my emotions, okay? Maybe you can listen podcast okay it's a lot a lot a lot of stuff you can do good news develop strength practice every day when you develop a strength practice every day work with your emotions with you 
before and then with others, that means you are healthy and you are emotional intelligence. Exercise now, but I put the exercise here, but I want you to do in your home. I don't discuss this one because this one is really personal, okay? And I don't want everybody put uh, some stuff there. In five sentences, how would you describe yourself? Le uh, yourself, letting yourself be carried away by a skill of self-awareness. I don't discuss what is self-awareness, but it's important. En español, escriban cinco oraciones. Esto va a ser una práctica que van a hacer solitos en su casa porque esto es muy personal, ¿ok? No, no, no voy a abrir el micrófono. Por favor, hagan este ejercicio. Take a picture, ¿ok? Take a picture, whatever. Try to do it in your home. Y por favor, escriban cinco oraciones. Que los describan ustedes dentro de su autoconocimiento. ¿Cómo ustedes se ven? ¿Qué ustedes me pueden decir sobre ustedes mismos? ¿Cómo tú te ves? Ok, then. Other exercise. Take a picture again, ¿ok? Professor, why you do this? Because I want, when finish this, you stay with stuff. Okay, with homework. Okay, and I love it, this one. Mention two limits. The non-negotiable ones that you are going to establish at home with your student or at work, okay? Why, professor? Because it's difficult for a lot of persons say no to others. Maybe you don't put limits. Okay, you don't put barriers. You need to put barriers and limit with others, guys. That is social emotional competence. Really? Yes. Because people think social emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence means I need to be good to others. No, no, you need to put the limits, okay? You need to learn with that. Exercise, other exercise. Take a picture, okay? Continue taking a picture. This is for your home. I do this because you need to do this. Design an activity, okay? Where you integrate decision-making and negotiation with your students. Students, if you're a professor, if you're in your work, you know, with your peers, with your colleagues, whatever you work, okay? I put the students because now I'm giving this, yeah, for students, okay? How would you assess your students integrating social emotional intelligence. Maybe you work whatever in one store or whatever, but what you can do, maybe a survey, maybe you can recommend a, a good a recommendation for your boss. You know what? Maybe you can do or create a survey and can assess our social emotional skills and that help you for Check what happened with the service here in this store. See, you can do a lot of stuff. And decision-making, listen to me. You can develop your decision-making 25 years old because then the frontal part of your brain is completely developed, okay? Don't tell me my adolescent is super maturity. Oh, my gosh. He made the best decisions, really. 15, 16, 19, 20, if not the best decision. Okay. Other exercise. Well, professor, you do a lot of exercise. A picture. If you're an educator or whatever you are, okay? Because I don't know other persons connect here, but here is professors too. What type of emotion is more frequent? Maybe you are a student. What type of emotion is more frequent? Oh, in most of my part of, of all the days, I'm super happy. Nice. Maybe you tell me, no, I feel sad or whatever. Can you when a task is assigned to a group and there is a student in the classroom who has this and does not work as a team, how would you handle it? Mm, maybe you're a student. And the professor tell you, you need to participate in a group. And you tell, oh my gosh, participate in a class group. I don't like it because 
then only I do the work. Others do nothing, and then I'm the only doer. What emotion do you feel in that moment? Okay, frustrated. I go to the chat when finished, okay? But love it. And in your work, what type of emotion is most frequent in the work, maybe in the university, when working in teams, okay? I said for you that. Emotional and social competency. And I think you want to love this table, okay? This table is one hand out over there. I put where I take it, okay? But I love this. And then with this, you understand everything about social emotional intelligence. Self-personal competencies, self-awareness. What is my strength? What uh, is not my strength, okay? Some people, my abilities, whatever, okay? When somebody asks you, who are you? Oh, I'm Puerto Rican. No, 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 no. Who are you? Okay. Think about that. Other social competencies is social awareness, okay? And relationship uh, management. And it's interesting because when I ask here, somebody can tell me in the chat, who, what is social emotional intelligence? Tell me empathy. Yes, and it's interesting because it's there. But self-management too. When you have self, what is self-control? Self-control is not the same for self-regulation. It's two different things. Self-regulation is inside, okay? But you manage that emotion. And self-control is managed with others, external. Got it. And I think this is awesome, this table. It's talking about conflict management, in work, positive outlook, others. And self awareness, I think you can say a picture for this is, is I love it. This is recognizing one's emotions and their effects. Emotional self control is keeping disruptive emotions and impulsive in check. Maybe somebody tells you something and you, and that person says, okay, what happened with you? You answer, you know, a person can finish and then you answer. No, because you, hello, give time for the others. Adaptability, flexibility in handling change. Achieving orientation, striving for meeting a standard of excellence. And positive outlook, this is an example, yes. Person sent in pursuing all despite obstacles and setbacks. And setbacks. And I know here, you are here because you have positive outlook. Empathy, sensing others, feeling and perspective and taking an active interest in their concerns. And listen carefully. Empathy has uh, for Daniel Goldman and for Paul Eggman. So you know what? This is two important psychologists in the United States. And divide empathy in two parts. Right over, right in your papers. Cognitive empathy, emotional empathy, and compassion empathy. Somebody in the chat, right? Because no, because I I saw that compassion is part of when you have empathy. Organizational awareness is reading a group emotional currents and power relations. Coach and mentor, sensing others' development needs and bolstering their abilities. And be careful because coach and mentor know it's the same. Okay? Be careful with that. Inspirational leadership, inspiring and guiding individuals and groups. Influence. Welding effective practice for persuasion. Conflict management, when you negotiating and resolving disagreements. Teamwork, working with others are share goals you have maybe one some or whatever objective one two three and then there is team where you need to you know pursue that goal creating group synergy enforcing collective goals other exercise remember this is homework okay because i want you to take time for you in time of, of stress <laughs> and this day this happen a lot and anxiety how do you react 
how do you react? Mm, take a look, okay? Take a look. And take a deep breath and check in your emotion. Instead of blowing up at people, let them know what's wrong and offer some solutions. Maybe you go to your work or you, you need to go outside with your girlfriends, whatever, and maybe you don't feel, you know, well, you can let your girlfriends know, today I don't feel good. Don't take personal. I'm okay. You know, this is with me. The situation is with me. I need to work with this. Other exercise. What core competencies, competencies of self-management do you have? Professor, but you don't, uh, don't, you don't tell us, yeah, the table, when I discuss the table over there, you can tell me what core competencies of self-management do you have? Now, I want to put this uh, video really quick. Let, let me finish all the presentation and then I come back to the video because it's really good. Be your personal life coach, okay? This is proof for Daniel Goldman. You can be your personal life coach. 360 degrees, okay? Reflection. What did you learn today from this presentation? I want you reflect. What I learned from Professor Flores? Oh, maybe she shared the table and it's really good, whatever. I want... You think what you learned today of this presentation. When are you going to start applying what you learn? Okay. Remember to write date and what you want to achieve. That is super important. Okay. A noun. Question or comment in this moment. Well, please, I have time for put the video. Let me know, please. Can I put the video? Stephanie, I have time? Yes, yes, yes. you have. Yes. Perfect. Five more, five more, time. Five more minutes. <laughs> okay, I think it's seven. Let, let me see. Let me put it the video. Okay. Let me go. I Remember, know. if you have audio, you have to check the box audio sharing before share. Yes. Let me do this. Because my computer is acting weird, but it's okay. I'm here. I continue here with you guys. This is a really good video. I think, guys. You want to love this video. It's almost in, there. Okay? In the meantime, you are uploading the video. Please make sure that you enter some major information for the certificates. And remember that the ones who will be at the end of, we have a raffle, uh, giveaway Amazon cards. Uh, you have to be a student to, Bella, to, uh, to participate of the raffle, but don't worry that uh, uh, we will make sure that students only get that. <laughs> the the ruffles but please if you need that's the link in the chat click here uh, and then that will be for not only for the certificate but also for the ruffle go ahead to well is nine nine minutes 52 seconds it's okay can i put no, it it's too much, it's too much. <laughs> yeah it's too much but you know what let me put on the chat what you think okay. and oh, share yeah. okay it's a good idea? Yeah. Okay. Yes, that great. great. That sounds right. Then let me put here, let me share then in between Duarte with everybody. Put mm -hmm. where uh, students can find me and the professors okay. too. Okay. Let me Excellent. share the screen again. Yeah, because we prefer to use the time to so you can answer questions. Yes, uh, yes. Let, let me know when you, you have five more minutes to wrap it up and then. Yes. We can open yes. to the question session. Perfect. Yeah, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Okay, but there Question. is the information of Dr. Uh, Barbara. So, uh, the, uh, Barbara, they asking me if, if you're going to share 
read us the presentation so we can upload it in the page. Can you send us in a PDF format? It will be great. By email, Perfect. as soon as, as, soon as you can. Chat, and I put in the chat a, a video link, okay? Let me, let, let okay. me. Yes, we need some therapy sometimes, seriously. Yes, <laughs> yes. Mr. Mari. <laughs> Kayla, I love the presentation, very valuable for today's society. One question, how long does it take to get the certificate? Because uh, I have uh, to so that's for us. That's for us. Uh, the certificate. I always explain that wait at least two weeks to get the certificate. So the last one was last week. So next week you will be receiving the certificate, and this one is gonna be receiving if not next week, the week after. Okay. Uh huh. Sure. Any other, other question, question for Barbara, please? Let me see. Let me see. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Love it. I also, okay, no, have the same question you answer right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, then nobody have questions. That's mean, everybody's think about it, something. Let me Let see, me very see. good presentation. Thank you, Deliani. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's a great pleasure to uh, share this time with you, uh, guys, professor, everybody here. Thank you so much, Jubelki, for this uh, special invitation. Of course, thank you, thank you so much. I think your exercise and 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 your very neat presentation, uh, Bella, uh, make clear all the topics. And uh, but you you already have you know talking to the participants, uh, your contact information. So please feel free. Barbara is very accessible, accessible, and she is uh, a very great collaborator. So feel free. Uh, Bella, to uh, I'll reach her uh, or reach her if you have any doubts. And also, uh, Barbara, if you can talk about your books, where they can find your books, it will be great. Oh, yes. I have two books. The, the first one is in Spanish and English, can find in Amazon, and the same uh, or in my webpage, Barbara okay. Flores, uh, Barbara Flores info or barbaraflores.info, my página web, or in Amazon. The second book is only in Spanish, Edu Lider Emocional. I need to translate that book. <laughs> yeah, well, it, and then it's it, really good. But everything in Amazon or in my webpage. And let me set something in Spanish. Gracias. Gracias a todos mis puertorriqueños por haber estado aquí conmigo y les envío un fuerte abrazo y muchísimas gracias. Y nosotros te enviamos un caluroso saludo, ya que sabemos que está a 20 degrees there in New York. <laughs> so hope you can, you can feel the, the, the warm weather in Puerto Rico. So this is the last chance to click. Maribel, if you can please put the, the link uh, again uh, to submit right away your name and your, ¿verdad? the name of your institution and your email, not only for the certificate, but also for the uh, uh, the raffle that we uh, we will be doing very soon. But first, after thank you, Barbara, we already have the name of the persons who participate and publish and share the promotion. Eh, during the the during the the uh, the time that we were promoting this uh, student leadership English presentation. Uh, before uh, Stephanie, before you do the raffle, if you want to share what was the instruction, I don't know if you have it right there or only, oh, you can share it. It doesn't have to be right, you can share it right away. Uh, you are in mute. Yeah. I am in mute, sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, <laughs> thank you, Dr. Barbara, for the great presentation. It was very, very fulfilling for, for everybody here. So as you will keep mentioned, uh, and as we we always do in our student leadership showcase, uh, once you register, we invite you to participate uh, to a special raffle to win an Amazon card of $50. To win, you need to complete the following step that I will mention now. Uh, there are only four steps. The first one is to follow us or like us on our social media. The second one is to tag three of your friend on the student leadership showcase promotion. And the third one is to share our, our student leadership showcase promo on your profile. And the four, 
One is to take a picture or a screenshot of the post and uh, submit it through the following link that we sent in, in via, via email. So with that being said, I am sharing uh, my screen. Did, did everybody share, uh, see my screen with the yes. wheel, wheel of name? Mm -hmm. I will spin the wheel with the names of the people who participate in the raffle. Mm -hmm. And we hope that they can be here because you have to be during the event when your name is called to be able to uh, win the, the raffle. So Denise Preciado uh, the, from the Inter-American University, are you here, Denise? Let me see if she is on. Como? Denise. She is not connected, so... Unfortunately, Denise is not here, so let's remove her name and go again. You can either open your mic and say, I'm here, or you can put it on the chat. Gabriel Morales, University Interamerican University again. Are you here? You can either open your mic or yeah. you, Gabriela Laguna. Gabriel, I don't know if she, if he, excuse me, is here, is not. We know for Gabriel, but I don't know if he, if he is from Inter-American University. Okay, that's what it says here. But anyway, do you see Gabriel on the, on the list? We have a Gabriel, but put our last name. Ah, okay. So probably it's, it's not. Okay, but in that case, if no one say I'm here, again, we rule again. La tercera la vencida. Let's see. Is the third person. Now the, the ones left have more chances. Okay, and the, let's see. Deborah Jorge Guzman Ana Jiménez. Are you here, Deborah? Let's see. And that looks like nobody wants the $50 Amazon gift card. Any? Uh, I, I'm checking out. I don't see. Okay. Catherine. Kat, Catherine, are you here? Santiago? Oh, I see a Catherine, but it's Hernandez, no Santiago. Mm -hmm. Bueno, in the case that no one show up, then we're going to put the, that uh, $50 Amazon on the next Ruffle, but let's see if the last one, bueno, if Catherine is not here, then the, the next one is by default. Catherine, it, Catherine is not here. Estoy aquí. Ah, mira, viste. O sea, Adriana. Es, ah, sí, es Adriana. Sí, Adriana. Sí, 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 porque Adriana, sí, porque Catherine, we already said that is not so. Congratulations, Adriana. Vale. Gracias. ¿Viste? Los últimos serán primero. As in the, uh, it says on the Bible. <laughs> so you were lucky enough that your others were not here, on, uh, although they participate and publish everything. So I'm so happy that you made it. So Adriana, which institution you are with? Lana Jiménez de Carolina. Ah, muy bien, Adriana. Pues we are copying, Maribel is copying your name, Adriana Ramos. So we will be, you will be receiving by email next week the Amazon gift card of $50. Now, Stephanie, you let us know. And everybody's clapping. This is all the names of the persons who requested the certificate. Remember that I know that some professor requested the certificate. So please let us know that you're a professor. So we, uh, you, of course, these. Amazon gift card are for students. So if your name show up, please let us know you're a professor so we can give the, go back again and, and, and 
give the prize to a student and give them the opportunity. So let's go. We have four of $25 each Amazon gift card. So let's go with the first one. Remember, you have to be here like Adriana to win. Go ahead. The first name is Jairimar Adorno, Adorno, Universidad Ana Jiménez. Jairimar, if you're here, you can either put a right on the chat or open your mic. Jairimar, let me see if I see any Jairimar here. No, it's not here. No, unfortunately. So let's go to the next one. Remove her name and go to the next one. Okay, let's see. A lot of people participating. Fatima Hernandez Solis, UAGM. Fatima, are you here? From UAGM, you can write, eh, poner, eh, escribir on the chat, write on the chat, or open your mic. Fatima, let me see. Do you see? I don't see no? a Fatima. No. No, unfortunately, I know that this student leadership showcase is longer than one hour and some of you have other commitments, but this is fair for all. Everybody has to be here, Bella, to win. So I, I can tell her, no, but she, she has to be here, Kaini. Thank you for being. Estos son nombres. And those names are the ones who enter the information on the link and request the certificate. The 90 people that started, but right now we are 55. So that's why there are some of them have left already, unfortunately. Yasmin is here, yes, because she raised her hand. Excuse me. Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine. Jasmine, you're Jasmine. here. You can put your, yes. on your microphone, Jasmine. No, she can, she can, if she, if, oh, if enough, if she put it, if she put it on the chat, it's enough. So Jasmine have the first 25 and she raised her hands very well. Jasmine is the first one of the 25 uh, Amazon Guard gift card. We have three left. So let's see. Thank you. Congratulations, Jasmine. And... And Jasmine is, let's see the next one, Alexandra Garcia Amador, Alexandra Garcia Amador, Alexandra Garcia Amador, are you here? Let me see on the chat. Uh, Alexandra. Naida, if you don't see, unfortunately, your name on the on the on the wheel is because probably you sign up uh, after we downloaded the, somebody the link. That's answer, why. I, somebody uh -huh. answer in the chat, Jubelki. Sorry, not here. Isabel said not here. She's oh, not here. Okay. <laughs> you know, like I was answering another person that doesn't see the name. Remember that this, the, you need to sign up right away. That's why I warning you. You need to sign up. Eh, Bella, eh, oh, eh, submit your information because Stephanie needs time to download and everything. Eh, Luz Jimenez, Universidad Interamericana Aguadilla Campus. Are you here, Luz? Luz. Luz, one, two, two. A la una, a la dos. No está. Someone say no está. It's not here. Okay, but again, but don't worry, you will have, Jasmine, if you can lower your hand, so, espérate, let me see if I can do it so you, I don't get confused. He did okay. it. Okay, 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 great. Okay, the next name is... Christopher. Mm. Mm -mm. Christopher, let's see. Please don't go because you still have opportunities. No, I don't see a Christopher Garcia in the participant. No. Christopher, no. Oh. 
Ok. Eh, eh, lo que, the ones who are requesting the link, just go up and you will see the link of the certificate in the chat. Go up and you will see. It's, it's, it's tw uh, we put it many times. Ok. Delianis Ferrer, Universidad Ana Geméndez. Are you here, Delianis? Mira, Maribel just shared the link again. Remember the ones who are putting the name now are not going to be part of the raffle just for the certificate. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Not here, Joel. No? Okay, please. we continue. We still have 56 people trying to win. So let's hear. We have eight more minutes to continue. Naomi Ortiz, Ana Jiménez again. Another opportunity for Ana Jiménez and Naomi. Naomi Ortiz, are oh. you here? Either open your microphone or on the chat, please. Someone put no here, but I don't know if they're talking about this one or the last one. Naomi, Naomi, let me see very no, quickly on the name novela. Okay, no. but we continue. Don't worry, because we have 56 people still. Let's see. And Barbara is helping us check it out who is here. Ezequiel A. Gonzalez, Casanova, UAM. UAM. He's here. He's here. We have the second. Muy bien, muy bien, Ezequiel. Congratulations, you will be receiving your 25 gift card, Amazon gift card, by email next week. As you can please uh, uh, make sure you receive it. If you don't, please let us know uh, at the email that you put on the participation and the, uh, the form. Okay, the next, thir the third, uh, the third Amazon out of four, the third one. Let's see. Gabriela Pardo. No, we don't have Gabriela Pardo. Stephanie is, is one. Ah, oh, no, it's Gabriel. It's okay. It's Gabriel. Yeah. Yeah. Gabriela. Yeah, and please make sure that you are student when you, Mela, say you're here. I'm. I'm um, I know that you uh, will be following those. It's very important. The Student Leadership Showcase, all the prizes are for students, although we invite professors and administrators. Elian Calleja, Calleja, excuse me, Otero. He's here. Inter ah, Elian, you're a student, right? Correct, from Inter-American Bayamón. Yeah, here, and student. Okay. Great, Elian has the third. Amazon gift card of $25. And the last one, let's see who's going to be the winner. The last Amazon gift card, let's see. Okay. Gabriela Maria Rodriguez. Inter American, but this time Ponce, Cam Ponce Campus. Gabriela, are you here? Use the I don't chat. See her. I don't or, see her in participants. No, okay. But in that case, they have another chance to another person. Max, the November webinars con a uh, certificate that were the 18, November 18 and the 23rd is going to be sent next week okay so that's why you haven't received it they are having sent yet kiria reyes rodriguez uam barceloneta kiria are you here to win the last amazon gift card i don't see her uh no i see a kian but no kiria yes me too that's true okay so well, kiria yeah. no Okay, but another chance to the more than 50 people that are still here with us. Let's see. 
Rosa María Peralta. UAGM Cupey, Rosa María, are you here? Estoy por aquí. Ah, but are you a student, Rosa María? Eh, eh, Ana Gemén de Cupey. Eres estudiante. You are a student. Sí. Okay, estudiante. perfecto. But in that case, Rosa María, you are the last winner of our Amazon gift card. All of you, the ones who win uh, uh, the gift card, you're going to receive it by email from us, uh, from Head, uh, next week. Uh, the, those Amazon gift cards, so you can use it either for your Christmas present or something that you may need uh, for Bella, anything you may want, because in Amazon, you know, you can buy anything. So thank you. Thank you so thank much. You. Congratulations to all the winners. And thank you. With this, we conclude our student leadership showcase. Again, we want to thank you, Dr. Barbara Flores, for uh, presenting this very interesting topic. And also, we want to remind you that we have another webinar, the last of this semester. It's going to be December uh, next Friday, December 9. Uh, that's going to be in Spanish. Uh, it's going to be at 10 a.m. Puerto Rico time. With, which is Atlantic time and the one thing in New York is going to be at 9 a.m. Eastern time. So please register if you haven't already to participate uh, at heads.org on the home page. Uh, you will find the area of next events and there you click the ones that you may want to participate and that takes you directly to the registration area. So I am, don't forget to follow us in social media, in any of, of the uh, accounts that of your preference, either Instagram, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, because as soon as we uh, download the recording of this uh, very interesting uh, event, we will be sharing the link of the recording. And please, feel free to share the link to any other that could not join us Bella, live so they can benefit from this topic as well. And thank you again for your time. Thank you, Barbara, again. Any last words after we conclude this student leadership showcase? Yes, I send a lot of blessings for, for everybody here and happy Friday and happy weekend. Okay, they are asking when is the second part. So now the students are uh, requesting uh, your uh, a second part of this topic that, of course, in one hour is very difficult to, to cover. So we will be talking to Barbara to see if we can have the second part uh, next semester, Barbara. Okay. Yes, uh, okay. She is always willing to collaborate. So we definitely look, uh, Bella, stay tuned. So you, you can see uh, the dates that we arranged to make a very uh, a, the second part of this topic. Uh, again, thank you for your participation. We hope that you can join us next Friday. And also the ones who have you know, innovative projects with a technology, Bella, any kind of technology integrated, please. You have until next Tuesday uh, to uh, submit your proposal very easily. Go to our website and you can find in the best practices showcase event page, web page, uh, the call for proposals uh, link. So you can submit your proposal. If you have any doubts, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you again. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend and Christmas time. If, Evela, if you are not able to join us next Friday, I wish you everyone. A, a very nice uh, time with your family and, and loved ones. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you again. Uh, our uh, uh, weather from Puerto Rico, un poquito de calor there. And if you're uh, coming to Puerto Rico, don't hesitate to let us know. Have a wonderful weekend again. And I'm going to stop the presentation. <laughs>